Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya. We are talking about vital shadows. And uh, the topic for this video, more specifically, is energetic intelligence. So, the idea of, um, you know, the traditional form of intelligence, IQ, you know about that, right? It's like knowing facts and knowing how to reason and how to play with logic and so on. When it comes to emotional intelligence, it's the ability to play with uh, your emotions and emotionally, energetically respond to different situations. But you have many more forms of uh, intelligences. You have, you know, sexual intelligence, for instance. You have spiritual intelligence. And the one that I'm going to talk about here uh, in this video is energetic intelligence. Because a lot of what you do when you play with shadows is having this kind of overview of, about what's going on on an, on an energetic level. For instance, suppose that you feel like there are emotions rising in you that are emotions of sadness, for instance, or emotions of some form of rage, or something that is really disturbing, or some feelings of abandonment, or any form of negative emotion, negative feeling, what you want to do is like check in and try to understand what is it in the field that is triggering that emotion? Is it something that somebody said to you? Is it because right now you are, you know, in some very specific aspect of your chart? Is it an astrological influence that is happening right there? Is it because you are about to face a big challenge in life or something is coming up? Is it because somebody around you is neglecting you? and therefore you feel energetically or emotionally vulnerable. So, when you use your energetic intelligence, you start really seeing the dynamics of life from an energetic point of view, and you start positioning yourself in all that, and uh, uh, activating responses that match the best possible um, uh, response that you can have to these given situations. So, the idea of energetic intelligence is that you know how to play with energies. It is really that simple. And if you want to be a shadow master, you must understand the dynamics of energy, how they play around you, how they impact on your system. You know, for instance, sometimes you might go like, wow, I feel some pain in my chest. Why is it that physically I feel that? Well, because maybe somebody insulted you like uh, a couple of days ago and that energy stays stacked in your system and energetically you can feel it. You don't have to identify it exactly, but you can feel that there is some form of physical impact of that energy which is still there. So if you track back the experience and you realize that it's not just a physical thing, it's an energetic thing stacked in your system, then you start overseeing where the dynamics are and how to tackle them. Because you don't want to walk around with pain on your chest. But if you want to remove that pain or transmute it or uh, dissolve it, you have to understand where it came from, how it originated. Why is it that somebody insulting you will actually create pain on your chest? How does it work? Because when they insult you, it's not just words, it's a projection of energetics. You have your body and their body and they are projecting something on, the bio, uh, on their biofield. So it impacts on your system, stays stacked over there, and then you have to find some form of energetic or emotional release technique to be able to get rid of that emotion which stays in, in your system. So all that is part of the energetic mastery. It's really a vast, beautiful topic to cover because once you start understanding the dynamics of life, everything starts making sense. And you start realizing, oh my God, this is... You see the connections between things, the karmic connections between things and the energetic connections between, between things. For instance, I'm here, I take care of my garden, then I feel happier. Why? Because it's an energetic exchange. My garden gives me thanks by giving me bliss. It's, it's love. It's an energetic exchange. So... Many more examples to come. I'll be back soon with another video.